Are you stressed out about money? And how would you like today to be the day that you stop stressing about money for good? How does that sound? Hey there, I'm Diane Forster and this is I Have Today, the show that inspires, educates, and empowers you. And this week we're talking about a topic that affects over 263 million Americans. There are 80% of people that are in financial debt and worried about money. Their debt ranges between $10,000 and $250,000 and they spend an average of three hours a day worried about money. Does this sound like you? Well, stick around for this show because I am going to share with you three powerful ways to get rid of that money stress and create the solution for you so that you can let it go finally for good, forever, be done with it. So 80% of the clients that come to see me in my private coaching practice come to me with limiting beliefs about money, scarcity mindset, stress about money, they're in debt, they uh, don't know how to create more money in their lives. And it's all focused on that, which is in complete alignment with what's going on in the country because um, there are 263 million Americans who have debt. And the debt ranges from anywhere from $10,000 to $250,000. This is a huge problem that needs to be addressed, which is why we're taking it on today. And I'm going to share these strategies with you that are going to help you put some systems in place. We're going to use some practical systems, and then we're going to use law of attraction to help you get rid of the money stressors in your life and put that problem behind you so that you can start creating more abundance, more money, more, more financial freedom into your life easily and more effortlessly. All right. So uh, I also read an article and the article was by um, Best Money Moves. And here's what they had to say that 41% of people don't set aside money for retirement. Does that sound like you? 25% of them charge their groceries on their credit card without any intention of paying it off. They just don't have the money to do so. 33% of them say it would take a minimum of three years to pay back the debt. And 20% of them say that their childcare that they pay for costs them more than their rent or their mortgage. It's crazy, right? So let's put some illumination on this and some emphasis on this and talk about strategies on how you can start flipping the switch on that so that you, your asset column becomes greater than your liability column. All right. So here we go. The number one thing that you need to do is do not feel bad about your debt. There is no shame with it. It happens clearly four out of five people are in debt. So you are definitely not alone. There is no reason for you to feel shame or feel bad about it. You've got to let that go. And a way for you to do this is I want you to use the law of attraction this way. I want you to remember a time or multiple times in your life when you felt abundant when you felt wealthy, when you felt rich, when you felt good, when you had peace of mind about money. And you might have to go back to your childhood to do it, but you definitely have a library of memories and moments in your life when you felt good about money. So I want you to go back to that feeling. You know, think about a time in your life, maybe you, um, got a promotion at work and you got a big raise, or you changed jobs and the salary increased, or somebody left you a really nice tip, or you, or received an unexpected, you know, gift of of money that just kind of fell into your lap, you know, or just think about those times, or it was, it was, you you know, your birthday and you got uh, many cards filled with money, you know, more than you, you ever thought. And then you just felt like you had all this money. I want you to go to those places in your mind. Now, if you had that feeling in your life before, 
and you felt the feelings of abundance, that's all it takes to start shifting the energy to start creating more abundance in your life again. It is a feeling. You have to come from the feeling place. So if you have known the feeling before, you can know the feeling again. And by stopping feeling bad about it, what you do is you allow yourself to start to feel hopeful, optimistic, more positive, lighter, um, um, just shifting the energy to be about, you know, the feeling of feeling really good about money. You got to change your feeling around money. And when you feel bad about yourself, you're telling the universe and you're speaking to money saying you feel bad about money. You're thinking that it's, it's going to continue to go away. You know, um, there's, it's, been proven time and time over and over again. There are so many millionaires and billionaires out there that have lost everything. And what they will tell you is once you start going down this spiral of, oh no, I can't part with the money that I have because if I part with the money that I have, then I'm not going to be able to get more. And it keeps you feeling bad and it keeps you feeling stuck to the point where eventually they lost it all. And it was in losing it all that they got the strength to, to go, wait a second, I, this isn't what I want. And now I'm empowered and have tools to, to go after what I really want. It's truly in the feeling and the mindset shift. So you got to let go of feeling bad about it. There is no guilt, no shame whatsoever about it. All right. If you've had it before, you can have it again. And if you're in the hole, you can get out of the hole. That's a beautiful thing. It's energy anyway, and you have the power to shift it. All right. So let go of feeling bad about it. All right. Way number two is you've got to lay it all out. Lay it all out. You've got to put everything out on the table. Make an Excel spreadsheet or a chart or do it in, a, uh, in colorful markers or something, but lay it all out. What your debt situation is, how much debt you have, who you owe. Um, put all your assets on the page as well, but take a look at everything that you have. All right. You, you can't, you can't fix what you're not focused on. You can't fix it if you're not paying attention to it. You know, if you don't acknowledge it, then you leave it in ambiguity and there's still that fear about it and it can't get better. So you got to lay out a problem. And I learned this from Bob Proctor. This was so great. Whatever the problem or the challenge is, let's just throw out a number that you've got $25,000 in debt and you are thinking about this money every damn day. You know, you're either waking up thinking about it or you're checking your emails thinking about it or you're going online and checking your bank account for, you know, to see the money going down and you get the, the credit card bill statements in the mail and you have these constant reminders. Like I said earlier in the video, three hours a day spent focusing on this debt. It's insane, right? But you can't acknowledge it and change your position and the way you feel about it if you're not looking at it and acknowledging it. So what I want you to do is make a game out of it. You know, you can imagine that the negative number is a positive number. And a way to do this through law of attraction again is use this affirmation. Why are my assets now greater than my liabilities? Or um, what did I write here? Hang on, let me look at my note. I have today, in fact, let's add this to Kelly. Let's make a note to add this. I have today to watch my assets increase and my liabilities vanish. Okay. I was going to use a different intention statement for the show today, but I like that one better. So I have today to watch my assets increase and my liabilities vanish. How good does that feel? Say that every day, say that all week, put that as your screensaver, um, put that as a reminder in your phone. That's a good one. Let those liabilities vanish, have them move away. How awesome would that be to have it so that your assets are so high that your liabilities don't even matter, All right? That's a different way of thinking, right? So make it a game and then even say that, look, say that affirmation as you're looking at the sheet in front of you with everything and watch it disappear. Yeah, I have to tell you how many ways I've watched debt disappear in my life and just 
just vanish, you know, just fall away and was gifted money instead, you know, unexpected money received. It's the most extraordinary thing. And it's because I have a game, you know, making a game of it, making it fun. It's so about energy and frequency and vibration and the feelings that you put towards it. You know what? You think about this for a second. Think about when you had if you've ever had a lot of money or when you've had money or you've had more abundance and maybe you're in a situation where you have less now, right? I guarantee you there was a place in your mindset that thought, hmm, when is this going to go away? When's the other shoe going to drop? Is this money going to go away? Like you might have celebrated it for a moment and then you went right back to that fear-based thinking, scarcity mind thinking, because I'm telling you right now, that's how you got in this position because it was there and it kept happening and, and happening and happening and happening, right? So you've got to change the core belief and the feeling and the emotion that you have about money, around money, around your money, around the amount of money that you're, you're capable of earning or attracting into your life. And you've got to make it fun. You know, think about the game Monopoly or games out there in general that are focused on money. You know, you don't really have any attachment to that money. So if you're somebody who really likes the game Monopoly and you're a winner at it, you know, you have the strategy and, and, and thinking and you know how to buy, you know, how to roadblock and buy the blocks of, of properties and how to really get that cash flow going, you have the same capacity in your life, in every area of your life. You're just thinking differently about it. So make it a game. You gotta look at and address what you've got, acknowledge it, use that powerful man, um, affirmation statement that I gave you and make it fun. Shift the energy. When you shift the energy, the abundance will start flowing in, all right? The third way this is so fun. This is so practical. This is so easy. You just have to make the commitment and go and do it. And that is you have to create the pockets for it. You have to create money pockets. Like you've got pockets in your pants and you've got pockets in your wallet. You've got to create the pockets for your money within your uh, bank and within your savings and investment. And the way you do that is you've got to know for every dollar you spend, a certain percentage is going to go here, a certain percentage is going to go here, a certain percentage is going to go here, a certain percentage is going to go here. And here are the pockets. You ready? You need to have a pocket for your living expenses. You need to have a pocket for your savings, money that you save. Part of every dollar needs to be saved. You need to have a pocket for your fun money. That's your stupid money. That's the money like, I don't care if I ever see this money again, I'm gonna use this for fun. And then you need to have a pocket for investments. That's mo money. That money needs to be in a place where that money is earning money. So whether that's real estate investments or into the stock market or into gold or bonds or whatever that is, that that is the trajectory of that money is all about that money makes money. All right. So invest in that. And you have to have these pockets for it because if you don't create the space for the money to go into, where's it going to go? It's going to go to somebody else who has pockets. So create money pockets for yourself so that when the money comes in, it has a place to go. So don't feel bad about your money. You can't, you gotta let it go. You've gotta talk to people. You've gotta share your situation. You have to know that you're not alone. And when you share what's going on with you and reach out for people, guess what's gonna happen? Help is gonna show up. People who are good with money are gonna come into your life and help and support you. If you aren't good at with money, you need to get educated about it and or at least surround yourself with people who are, you know, people who can support you, people who can hold you accountable. Remember, no feeling bad, no guilt or shame. Talk to people about it. Stop feeling bad about it. And then um, remember that you need to lay it all out. You need to look at everything, look at ev where every dollar is owed and every dollar is coming in and lay out a plan, make it a game and manifest that those assets go up while the liabilities fade away and then create those money pockets. All right. So that is a way for you to start your money stress solutions. You can't 
Remember what I said, you can't fix what you don't acknowledge. So you just got to acknowledge it. Know that you're not alone because you're not, right? We've all been there. I've been there. I've been the highs, lows, the highs, lows. You know, I've got it going on too. 80% of, of us are dealing with this. 80% of my clients come in and deal with this. And so it's not your fault, but you got to take action. Now, what I want to gift you with today is the most powerful thing you can do is to set your money mindset up for success every single day. So I created a money magnet mantra meditation for you that's going to allow you to start reprogramming that, those old limiting beliefs in your mindset and give you the powerful tools so that you start attracting more money into your life. You start attracting clients, relationships, connections, partnerships, investment advice, you know, strategies, ways to really start loving your relationship with your money and to become a money magnet. It's so freaking cool. It's at dianeforster.com forward slash money mantra, dianeforster.com slash money mantra. And you're going to download this. It's under five minutes a day. You're going to get your money mindset in check. Every single day, you're going to start feeling wealthier, 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 more abundant. You know, if you want to be wealthy, you want to be a millionaire, I can't tell you how many people, I want to be a millionaire. I say to them, all right, well, what does that, what does that mean? You know, the, 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 the ink and the paper that the money is printed on doesn't mean diddly squat. The whole value of that to make that money is under a hundred dollars, by the way. Um, so you want to get to the feeling place of being a, uh, you know, a millionaire or wealthy, then you've got to change your state and who you are. And you've got to start implementing strategies and literally become a different person. If you're not living like a millionaire now, it ain't going to happen. So you've got to start living like a millionaire. And this money mantra meditation is going to help you do that. So we'll have a link for it in the description box as well. Of course, um, we'll have notes for it on my website as well for the podcast. So you can find it. But just go to dianeforster.com forward slash money mantra and get it right away. Start today because today is all you have. So that's it for this week's episode at I Have Today. Live each day to the fullest. You never know when it's going to be your last. And so take action to live the life of your dreams right now today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And please come back, subscribe, hit the bell if you're on YouTube so that you get notified when we do new episodes. We're here every week with powerful content. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.